Hey guys, what's up? So it has been about three or four months since the last time that I did my makeup, my male makeup tutorial. Um, so I thought I would just update you guys because it has changed. So yeah, my makeup routine has changed and like the products that I use and everything. Um, I just now have um, a routine where I've been using it consistently. I was experimenting with um, products for a while. Alright, so everything is pretty much completely different. So the first product I'm going to use to prime and moisturize my face is this Nivea Men um, Host Shave Balm. So I'm just going to apply that to my face. And I have pretty dry areas. Um, my T-zone actually on my forehead, um, the, my chin, and then around my nose, and right under my eyes. Um, I like to put a lot because it makes sure it gets moisturized so it's not dry when I put concealer on. So what I do is I take a good amount and I just kind of set it on my dry spots. I don't really rub it in because I want to soak into the skin first and then I'll rub it in. And then I will just go everywhere else and rub it in. And I look a little bruised right here because um, I don't, this, area, this under eye area is really sensitive and I guess I was rubbing too hard and I was trying to take uh, makeup off from it actual makeup look that I did post on Instagram and every time I take it off I get really like red and bruised right here it kind of hurts a little bit so that's what that is and this is gonna act as a primer um, and that makes your makeup last longer because it will stick to it and it'll hold on to your skin longer so the next thing I do is I take my NYX BB cream um, this is is this is the shade natural um this actually is a little too warm for me just a little too dark so i mix it with my um clean and clear advantage acne control moisturizer um just to uh, kind of shear it down it doesn't lighten it at all it just like kind of shears on the product so it's not so intense um but i did order the um, lighter one. There's only three shades of this. There's the middle one, this lighter one, and the darker one. And I just ordered the lighter one, so hopefully that will be a better match. But I really like the BB cream, so I'm going to stick to it. But I'm just going to take some of it on my palm. It's about this much. And then I'm going to take one pump of this moisturizer. I'm just going to mix it in with my finger and then I'm just going to apply that to my face directly from the finger All right, and then once I have that on I'm going to take my um, face brush this is the Morphe M439 and I freaking love this brush like I just got it about a month ago maybe it's so dense and it's so soft that it pushes the product around, doesn't seep it in, and really a little bit goes a long way with this brush because it doesn't soak up any of it and it just it blends it in really nice. So I'm just going to go in with this. Alright, so after I have that done, I'm going to take the Morphe um, 20 CON palette. It's just a cream um, concealer palette. And I am going to take this middle shade right here on the far end with my finger and I am going to put that under my eye. This will conceal. 
paint darkness and it will kind of like highlight your dry area a little bit. Alright, so now I'm going to conceal around my nose. Um, actually, I'm going to take more of that and put it on top of my nose. Alright, so now I'm going to take this bottom shade right here. It's a little bit darker, so it's going to match my skin tone a little better and not really highlight. So I'm going to use that with my finger just around the nose. And then I'm also going to use this to conceal any pimples. So now I'm going to take the Morphe 438 brush and it looks like this. And I'm going to take the NYX um, contour and highlight palette and I'm going to grab uh, this shade and this one and I'm going to mix them together and then I'm going to set the under eye concealer with that so it does not crease and so it's stays in place. And I'm going to set the other areas that I put the cream at. And then also I like to take um, just a like a powder brush or like any kind of brush really that's big enough for powder. And I'm going to take this lighter shade and I'm going to kind of put it all over my face just to lighten that up a bit since it is a little dark compared to my neck. I'm just going to lightly press it all over my face. Alright, so now I'm going to take an angled um, contour blush brush. I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm just going to dab in that and I'm going to use that not to necessarily contour but to more warm up the face and brown just a little bit. Not really, kind of. But So I'm just going to put that on the cheekbones, not really underneath it because I don't really need to contour. I'm just going to put it on the cheekbones, blend that in. And then I'm going to put a little bit on the sides of my forehead. And I have a head on because my hair is crazy right now because it's long. And I can't really do anything with it. So now to contour my nose. When I say contour, I mean to emphasize what I have and to not really change it. Um, I like my nose, but I'm just going to darken the side just to add dimension and on my lip and under my lip just to add dimension, not to change anything. So, because then people are going to come in and be like, you don't need to contour, blah, 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 because my last video people said that. But I'm not changing anything, I'm just enhancing. So I'm going to apply right here in the corner of my eye socket where my bridge my nose kind of meets my eyebrow with that same contour shade I used before and then just a little bit into the crease just to give depth. Okay, and then down the side of the nose. And I'm using a blending brush so that it is pretty diffused and it doesn't apply too much product. Not very harsh. And now I'm going to switch over to this small synthetic um, pickled brush. And I'm going to use that contour shade to do just right under my nose. And then I right between the cupid's bow. 
And this will enhance your upper lip and make, make it like it's pulled up more. Make it look a little fuller. And then under my lip, which enhances the bottom lip. And since I have a short mouth, I feel like, um, I like to contour right here on the sides to just, I like, just like make it look like it's more extended out. All right, and I'm gonna take this brush again and I'm going to take this um, highlighted like frosted shade in the palette. It's a shimmer highlight and I'm going to take that on my cheekbones. And I feel like this is important for male makeup because you don't want to be completely matte um, for male makeup because guys tend to perspirate more and their faces tend to be more dewy and oily. Um, just, I don't know. It's just obvious if your face is really matte that you're wearing makeup. So I like to add some more shine back in, which I'm just gonna top my cheekbones, my nose, a little bit on the forehead, and then the chin, and the cupid's bow. And right underneath the eyebrow. All right, so that's all I have as far as face. I'm actually going to film my eyebrow tutorial right now my updated one because it's been a while too and it changes and it'll give me another video so I'm going to film that um, and then I will be back for my outro alright so that is my full face um, makeup routine with my eyebrows and everything um, I will have my eyebrow routine up after this video so once I have it up I will have an annotation on the screen that you can click on and check that out if you would like um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up like always. Subscribe if you haven't, um, if you would like to see more of my videos and keep up with them. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at Wesley Benjamin Carter. It's spelled the same way as it is on here. Um, I post makeup, um, I've been posting a lot of makeup looks that I don't have videos of. So if you'd like to see more makeup stuff, um, then you can follow me there. Um, so yeah, that's all for this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching guys.